Hello and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo and today we're going to continue with the secret powers of the selection tool. Uh, this video is going to focus on Finale's powerful filter as well as the clear selected items function which is related to the filter and finally the smart find and paint function which is vaguely related to the filter and I'll show you what I mean by that uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so regarding the filter, it, the filter is a copy and paste filter. So basically it allows you to copy and paste certain items between selections. And uh, it is one of the more powerful functions of Finale. So I strongly encourage you, uh, once you get the gist of it, to kind of study, study the filter and figure out what it is and what it can do for you, what it can't do for you, how you can use it. Uh, because there's, there's a million different permutations of the filter and, and uh, it, is, it is extremely useful. So how do you get to the filter? Well, it is in the edit menu and you'll see two options here, use filter and edit filter and the shortcuts being command, uh, command option F and command shift option F, right? So if we just click, click use filter, that basically turns the filter on and you see that it's checked, uh, indicating that it's on and the edit filter, if you s select that, pulls up this menu. And there's another way to do both of those things. There it's in the contextual menu. Uh, use filter and edit filter. Okay, and finally one final way. Uh, you know how you can copy and paste uh, from one measure to another uh, just by selecting it, holding down Option and clicking. Well, if you did, if you held down Option Shift and clicked it in, clicked in a new measure, it will pull up the filter, and you can uh, you can copy and paste with the filter directly like that. All right. So let's show you what's in the filter. All right. So let's pull it up again, edit filter. And by the way, after you press edit filter, the um, the, the use filter will, will become checked. So it, it Finale kind of smartly figures out that you're editing it means you want to use it, all right? Now this edit filter menu, you'll, s you'll notice a lot of different options here. And right now I've got everything checked and we can do that with the all button or if you press none, then everything becomes unchecked and you can start from scratch, right? So let's just say uh, we've got all checked just to kind of show you what it is. We've got notes and, notes and rest, markings, different text, special alterations, um, MIDI data, which you can, uh, which will be uh, sort of under the hood of your your uh, your notes and everything. Graphics, measure numbers, positions, osseas, uh, staff styles, and measure settings. Measure settings, which will apply to stack selection only. So if I don't have a stack selection, like I don't have right here. Well, it doesn't matter what's checked or not in this uh, section. It's it's not gonna you know it's not gonna copy over key signatures um, without a without a stack selection. Okay. Um, so just l I'm gonna show you a few practical purposes for this. And as you can see from that menu, there's a million different things you can check. And well, not a million, but a million different combinations once you start checking and unchecking certain things, right? Um, so so practically speaking, you know, I've got this alto sax two part and it doesn't have the markings. So instead of going and, and re-entering all those markings, it's really easy to just pull up the filter. What we're gonna do is select none, and I wanna uh, move over the markings. So you just check the markings category, and we'll give you, and of course you can refine that further if you only wanna move the articulations or only the chords, etc. cetera. Uh, you have expression dynamics, expression tempo marks, Again, this is a stack selection only function. So, you know, obviously this tempo marking is not gonna get copied and pasted to the alto sax two part because the tempo marking is a system wise, a system wide marking, right? So unless I had the a stack selected and was, you know, pasting it to another part in the score, um, that tempo marking would not get copied over. Uh, smart shapes assigned to beats, that would be something like the uh, hairpins and assigned to notes would be something like the slurs. So in this case, I'm gonna copy them all over because that's what I want to do. So I've got markings checked, hit OK, and then we just have to just copy and paste and boom, it happens, right? Now there's, y there's uh, let's say you have this now and you decided, well, you know, my alto two sax should be doubling the alto sax one, right? Obviously you can just completely copy and paste it, but there's, you can also just do this, uh, select none, and the only thing we're gonna copy is the notes and rests. So that would do that, right? Just in case, for whatever reason, you had different markings, but you wanted the same note, that's that would be a practical purpose for that. All right, another uh, practical practical thing I wanted to show you is I've got, I've got this piano part here with chords, and I've got a guitar part started here. And instead of retyping the chords above the guitar here, it's really easy to do this with a filter. Just pull it up, you know, select none again. Um, just select the chords, because that's the only thing we're gonna copy. 
and voila, the chords appear. And let's say we want to continue, but we don't. So we want to copy these four bar, these four bars of slashes into these four bars without copying these chords. Again, let's do this option shift click to bring up the filter, and select none. And the slashes are done with a staff style, so we just find staff style and select it. And there we go. We get our slashes. And again, we want just the chords. We can do the same thing. Click none, chords. So you can see how you can kind of make short work of uh, something like this without having to retype or, or re-enter things uh, in, in, a, in a rhythmic uh, part like that. And also with lyrics. I mean, I, I know this is a sax section here, but let's pretend this is a chorus. And we've got um, lyrics here. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb is what I want. Instead of retyping, we can just use the filter, select none, and we're going to select lyrics because that's the only thing we want to copy. Boom, boom, we've got lyrics. And then, of course, we can do all four of them and put them in a tenor sax part, just like that. So, again, makes short work of uh, duplicating lyrics. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, oh, yeah, let's talk about the stack selection uh, part of the filter. So, remember how I was able to, uh, in the last video, I, I can kind of stack select. And if I put this without the filter on, let's turn it off. Right. If I do that, it's going to copy it back into 4-4, back into the key signature. But, for example, let's say I, wanted, I want to keep it in 4-4, or I want to copy over the 4-4, but I want to keep this key, uh, key signature here. Right. So we can do that, too, if we use the filter. Let's select all, because now we want everything to be copied over except for the key signature. Right. So we've got the stack selection, so now these become available to us. And all we have to do is uncheck the key signature right and now when we copy and paste it so we've we've changed the three four to four four like we want but we've re retained the uh, key signature pretty nifty right a lot of stuff you can do depending on how you want to uh, do it same thing here you know i've got this passage again and let's say i want to copy these four bars for through the whole s for the whole s uh, orchestra into these four bars except for the repeat so again just hit the stack selection use filter edit filter um, select all, and let's find repeats, and uncheck repeats, and there you go. You just copied it without the repeats. All right, so a lot of ways to use the filter. Again, I really encourage you to study what's in this filter. There's, uh, you know, lots of different options, and as you can see, you can check and uncheck anything you want, and, um, you know, it's, it's uh, depending on what you need to do, it's, it's incredibly powerful for you. Um, now let's talk about the clear items. There's, a, there's two, uh, two options in the edit menu. Clear all items, which will do exactly what you think it would. It would clear all items. It's essentially the same thing as hitting delete. And clear selected items. So if you pull up clear selected items, you get a window that's si very similar looking to the filter window, right? Um, with a few exceptions. You, you can notice that a lot of things are grayed out right now. Um, there's a few reasons for that particularly the special alteration section down here, it's completely grayed out. And the reason for that is because notes and rests are checked. So if you think about it, you're clearing the notes and rests, which implies that you're also clearing any alterations you've made to those notes and rests, right? So you wouldn't, there's no need to have these checked. However, if you unchecked notes and rests, now all of a sudden the special alterations become available to you. So you can actually clear out only the special alterations made to those notes and rests, if that makes sense. And I've got an example of that right here. I, I created this silly uh, thing in the trumpet part where I made all these alterations with the uh, special tools uh, uh, tool for, um, for the second bar here, right? And if I don't like that anymore, all I have to do is clear selected items. We can check none and just check special alterations. And now all that stuff will go away and you'll get a normal measure. Of course, you could always just, in this instance, you could have just copied and pasted the first measure into the second measure. But, you know, in case there are certain uh, alterations you want to clear but not others, that's how you do it. Um, same thing with triplets. You notice that if we do clear selected items, there's an option for tuplet definitions and cross staff notes. So, again, if you have notes and rest checked, y these are going to get grayed out because by, uh, by definition, you're, you're also deleting the tuplet definitions, right? Um, but again, if you uncheck that, and let's do none again, and let's say we want to clear the tuplet, just check that, 
and it gets cleared. Of course, it gets screwed up because now it turned your quarter note triplet into three quarter notes, which means you have an extra beat in the bar, so you're going to have to fix that. So, All right, uh, so one more thing you can do with the uh, clear selected items. And again, with the clear selected items, you have this, this stack selection thing available. So if you have a stack selection made and you're going to clear selected items, certain things will become available in your stack selection uh, section, right? Except not other things. For example, you can't clear out the key signature or the time signature because both of those things are sort of essential to the structure of the measure. So that's why it's not letting you uh, clear those things out, okay? Um, but there are other things you can clear, bar lines, you can clear the repeats, um, a few other things, okay? So that is there for you to use. Again, study and, and, and really understand the, the, uh, the copy and paste filter and the clear items. It will, it will save you oodles of time knowing how to use that. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about is the smart find and paint option. Now, this is sort of a legacy function in Finale. I, I believe that the smart find and paint existed before the filter existed in the history of, of uh, Finale versions. And uh, the smart find and paint is similar to the copy and paste, except with, with a major exception. So first of all, where is it? It's in the edit menu again, smart find and paint. And this one happens to not be in the contextual menu, by the way. So you will not find this in the contextual menu. Now, in the smart find and paint, there's a few options. Oops, let's make sure I have something selected. Uh, there's a few options here. The set smart find s source region, which is uh, command F. And if you have something selected, this command F will also deselect it. All right, so what that does is l I'm just in this section I have here, I have this passage of uh, eighth, eighth quarter, and it's got these markings on it, right? And in the rest of the passage, that pattern repeats sometimes. So here's another one, eighth, eighth quarter, eighth, eighth quarter, skip, 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 eighth, eighth quarter, and then one more, eighth, eighth quarter, okay? And if I want to put these markings every time that rhythm exists, the smart find and paint is the way to do that, and this is how it works. You select the the this passage that you want to um, copy and hit Command F to set the source region, and you'll notice that it now puts a, a black uh, rectangle around it, meaning that that's that's the the section you're going to copy or you're going to paint essentially. And then select the rest of the passage, and again we can pull up and pull it up in the edit menu, uh, smart find and paint, apply smart find and paint, and this window, the small window will appear, and it's gonna ask you the markings to paint. You can check or uncheck whichever ones you want, so if you only want the articulations painted, you could just uncheck the other ones, etc. And there's an option to delete target markings before paint in case you had other markings uh, in there already. And the way that this works is if you hit find, It'll find the next section that's uh, rhythmic uh, section that's that's similar to the one you've you've set as your source, all right. And now that it's found it, you have the option to paint. And you'll see that it paints it. It'll find the next one, paint. And if you don't, let's say you don't want to use it here, but you want to use it on the next one, just hit find next, and it will find the next one and hit paint. And then it'll tell you that there's no more matches found in that initial uh, selection. So that's how the it would work, and of course, the easy way to do it is uh, to pull that up again. Smart find and paint, apply, and just paint all, and it will tell you that four patterns are painted. Right? That's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty neat uh, function to to know how to use. And again, something like this, I've got this piano part where I've got uh, this repeating sixteenth note pattern, and I want all. I want these markings to exist on the whole thing. So again. Um, we'll just set the, the region and then select the rest of the passage and command shift F for the apply smart find and paint and paint all. And it'll tell you that 16 patterns were painted, right? And it ignores the, the one beat I have here of eighth notes and the dotted uh, half note here. So you can see how this can be really useful if you have a, a passage of uh, repeating of a repeated uh, uh, pattern and um, you know instead of using the filter to copy and paste 60 times you can just use the smart find and paint function to just you know copy it 
set the source region once, copy the rest of the passage, and paint it. It's it's uh, it's really a, a, a nifty function that uh, has sort of gotten lost, I think, a little bit in the history of Finale. But it is there, and now that you know it is there, uh, hopefully you can make some use out of it. All right, so I think that's it. I've touched on the filter. Again, really study that filter. It's it's it, It'll save so much time, uh, you know, down the road uh, if you really know how to use it. And the clear selected items, and of course, the smart find and paint, uh, which is useful in certain circumstances. So uh, that's the end of the secret powers of the selection tool series. Uh, comment in the video or email me if you think I've missed something that uh, would be helpful to know about. Uh, that you can do right from the selection tool. Um, I'm always happy to make an addendum video and use whatever it is that you suggest. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, come back for the next series of videos.